Did you know that Samsung's Galaxy S25 Ultra is getting a 16GB RAM variant, but only in a few countries? If you're wondering whether your country is on the list or why Samsung made this decision, keep watching because we're breaking it all down. Samsung recently held its Galaxy Unpacked event in San Jose, California, where it revealed its latest flagship lineup, the Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, and the premium Galaxy S25 Ultra. While these phones boast impressive features, one particular announcement left fans a bit disappointed. Samsung revealed that all three models, regardless of storage size, come with 12 gigabytes of RAM. Many were expecting the Galaxy S25 Ultra as the top-tier device to offer a 16 gigabyte RAM variant for even more power and multitasking capability. But here's where it gets interesting. Samsung is offering a 16 gigabyte RAM version of the Galaxy S25 Ultra, but only in three countries, China, South Korea, and Taiwan. Let's break down what makes these regions special and what Samsung is offering there. In China and Taiwan, the 16GB RAM plus 1TB storage configuration is the only option for buyers seeking 1TB of storage. Unlike in other markets, there's no 12GB RAM variant paired with 1TB of storage in these countries. On the other hand, South Korea offers a bit more flexibility. Buyers there can choose from the global configurations minus 12GB of RAM with 256GB, 512GB or 1TB of storage and the exclusive 16GB RAM plus 1TB option. Now let's talk about the pricing. In China, this high-end model is priced at 13,699 Chinese yuan, which reflects its premium positioning. In South Korea, it costs 2,249,500 Korean won, and in Taiwan, it's available for 56,900 new Taiwan dollars. These prices place the 16GB variant firmly in the ultra-premium category, making it a luxury for those who demand the very best. So why is Samsung restricting this configuration to just three countries? It likely boils down to market demand and consumer behavior. In regions like China and South Korea, there's a stronger appetite for cutting-edge technology and the highest specifications. Consumers in these countries are more willing to pay a premium for devices that offer the maximum possible performance. This targeted release strategy allows Samsung to cater to these specific markets without adding unnecessary complexity to its global product lineup. If you're outside of these three countries, the only options available are the global variants, which come with 12 gigabytes of RAM. These configurations include 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or one terabyte of storage. While 12 gigabytes of RAM is more than enough for most users, the exclusivity of the 16 gigabyte RAM variant is sure to make some people envious. Now, some of you might be wondering, could Samsung eventually release the 16 gigabyte RAM version in other regions? Unfortunately, the answer is probably not. Samsung has never introduced exclusive variants like this to other markets after launch, especially when it comes to flagship devices. What do you look for in a premium smartphone? Samsung's Galaxy S25 Ultra is here to challenge expectations and redefine what a flagship phone can do. With cutting-edge design, jaw-dropping performance, and some of the most advanced camera technology on the market, this device promises to deliver an unparalleled experience. But does it justify the $1,299 starting price? Let's find out. By the way, if you haven't reserved the Galaxy S25 yet, click the link in the description to reserve now and get a chance to win $50 Samsung credit, up to $1,250 additional savings, and even a shot at $5,000 Samsung credit. The Galaxy S25 Ultra isn't just a phone, it's a masterpiece. This year, Samsung has introduced subtle yet meaningful design upgrades that make the device stand out. Rounded corners and polished camera rings merge beautifully, with the new One UI 7.0 software, creating a seamless harmony between hardware and software. Samsung has also brought back the distinct S-series identity while subtly paying homage to the Galaxy Note. The device's softer edges and slimmer dimensions make it as comfortable to hold as it is visually stunning. At 218 grams, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is lighter than its predecessor, and the thinner, narrower body feels great in hand. Its 6.9-inch quad high-definition plus dynamic AMOLED 2X display is a true marvel. Slower bezels frame the screen, offering an immersive viewing experience, whether you're watching your favorite show or scrolling through social media. The display's brightness and color accuracy are second to none, living up to Samsung's reputation for incredible screens. Under the hood, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy. It's not just fast, it's a performance powerhouse. Compared to the previous model, you're getting a 37% improvement in CPU performance, 30% faster GPU capabilities, and a massive 40% boost in neural processing unit efficiency. Whether you're gaming, editing videos, or multitasking, 
This phone handles it all effortlessly. During our hands-on test, it breezed through video rendering tasks, outperforming last year's Galaxy S24 Ultra by a significant margin. Samsung has also redefined smartphone photography with this device. The Galaxy S25 Ultra boasts a 200 megapixel primary sensor, a 50 megapixel ultra wide lens, and two telephoto lenses, one with 3x zoom at 10 megapixels and another with 5x zoom at 50 megapixels. The new ultra wide sensor, featuring an aperture of f/1.9, elevates low light photography. Images are sharper, more detailed, and show minimal noise. You can also now record 8K video using the ultra wide lens, a feature content creators will love. Audio enthusiasts will appreciate the improved speakers on this device. They're louder, clearer, and punchier than ever before, perfect for streaming music or watching videos without needing external speakers. And what about the S Pen? While it still delivers an excellent drawing and writing experience, Samsung has made a notable change by removing the Bluetooth-enabled gestures and remote functionality. Could the iPhone 16e be Apple's new game changer in the budget phone market? We've all seen the iPhone Special Edition lineup over the years, offering a budget-friendly option for Apple fans. But with the upcoming iPhone 16e, which was previously rumored to be the iPhone Special Edition 4, it seems Apple is ready to make a bold move, not just competing with Google's Pixel and Samsung's Galaxy series, but even with their flagship iPhone 16. According to reputable leaker Digital Chat Station, the iPhone 16e is shaping up to be a contender with an updated design and some impressive specs. If the leaks are true, the iPhone 16e will be a complete redesign compared to its predecessors, leaving the outdated look behind. Instead, we're looking at something closer to the iPhone 14 with a few tweaks. The phone is expected to feature a 6.06-inch Full HD Plus LTPS OLED display, the same one found in the iPhone 14. This means vibrant colors and sharp details, making it a pleasure to watch videos or browse your favorite apps. It will also come with Face ID, housed in a notch at the top, and a sleek metal frame that will give it a premium feel. And when it comes to the camera, the iPhone 16e will pack a single rear camera, keeping things simple but effective. Under the hood, the phone will be powered by Apple's 18 chip, the same one found in the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus. This powerful processor will give the 16e the ability to handle everything from everyday tasks to heavy duty apps with ease. It will also feature a solid water resistance rating, so you don't have to worry about the occasional splash of water. Now, while the iPhone 16e brings a lot to the table, there's one thing that might hold it back. The display refresh rate will still be capped at 60 hertz, which means it won't be as smooth as the 120 hertz displays you'll find on some of its competitors, like the Pixel 8a and Galaxy A55. While 60 hertz might be fine for some, it could feel a bit sluggish when compared to phones with faster refresh rates, especially for scrolling and gaming. The good news, the price is expected to start at $499, making it a strong contender in the upper mid-range market. This is a slight increase over the previous model, but considering the 18 chip and the updated design, it could be well worth it. Some sources even suggest that the iPhone 16e will come with eight gigabytes of RAM, which would support Apple's artificial intelligence features, offering smoother performance and even smarter capabilities. While the lack of a 120 hertz refresh rate might be a downside for some, the A18 chip could more than make up for it. It's the same flagship processor found in the more expensive iPhone 16 models, which means the iPhone 16e could blow its competition out of the water when it comes to performance. The iPhone 16e is expected to launch in April, and there's already a lot of buzz around it. With so many similarities to the iPhone 16, it might even make you wonder what the iPhone 16 offers that the 16e doesn't. The iPhone 16 might come with a second camera, a larger battery, and the new action button and dynamic island, but the iPhone 16e is definitely shaping up to be a strong option for anyone looking for a budget iPhone. As the rumors continue to swirl, we're all eager to see how this new iPhone 16e turns out. If it ends up being as good as the leaks suggest, this could be the best value iPhone Apple has ever released. If you're as excited as I am about the iPhone 16e, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates as we get closer to the release. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next